All right, guys, what's going on? It's Nock. Welcome back to another Portal 2 mod. Today we are going to play Trapped. Now, I do believe this is only a single map mod, so we use the term mod very loosely, but it is on ModDB, and the summary is as follows. A small Portal 2 map. I did a few years ago, but the site I hosted it on disappeared, so I added it here so people could access to it. Uh, continuing on from where you left off in Portal 2 at the end, you now have more puzzles and fun to have in the aperture world hidden inside the maps are 10 secret switches to activate if you get all 10 a little extra room is open for you to see near the end slash exit sounds rather interesting so without further ado let's jump in actually it looks like there is more than we have got potentially three maps so without further ado though let's jump in and um see what we've got here shall we Well, um, at the minute, Mike, actually, what I'm doing is I'm, um, I am still kind of doing DJ streams, but I'm doing them over on Mixcloud. Mixcloud have a, um, a premium service and, um, they were doing three months free. So I've signed up for that and they have the rights that you can do DJ streams and everything on there. So yeah, that's what we're, uh, we're doing at the moment. Uh, Megas, this is called Trap. This is, a uh, I don't know if it's a. I, th I think it might be a single map mod. I might be mistaken. Um, but yeah, we're going to jump in here. Apparently, there is ten switches to find along the way, which gives us a nice little secret at the end. Also, let's make a fire cube. So I guess this is like, yeah, right after everything that happened with GLaDOS. Um, also, oh, there's my companion cube. Hey, companion cube. I also need to do my space bar to plus jump as well. There we go. I did just go through a cube. Yes, also you've changed your name. You changed your name to red. Right, so, there's a program. so we're looking out for 10 switches. That gives us um, a super secret uh, ending, apparently, along our journey. Let's burn the companion cube. And let's see where this one takes us. Full surface, probably on the back of one of these, right? Alright, Fumbly, thanks for hanging, buddy. Appreciate it, as always. Take care. Have a good evening. Uh, sorry, good day, as you are already on to Wednesday. Or probably near, nearer towards the end of Wednesday, actually. So, uh, yeah. Hope you've had a good day. No, it's morning. What am I talking about? It's getting on for lunchtime. I, I don't know. What's up in there? <laughs> uh, Alright, so uh, this is looking maze like at the minute. Oh, that's cool. That tells us how many more switches we've got to find as well. That's cool. So, we found that first switch. We know what we're looking for now, which is a bonus. We've got some cubes going through a pipe there. This is looking relatively cool right now. I'm liking the looks of this. 69 switches left. He's trying to confuse me by keep changing the color of your uh, chat messages there, Megist. Oh, jeez. Uh, well... I don't want to go that way just yet. Is there, however, 
uh, you know, the portal surface. Okay, interesting. Your um, the colour of your messages keeps changing colour for me on my um, Streamlabs chat box. You started off like a pink colour and then you went to red and now you're on like a dark blue. <laughs> Is your chat reloading at all? Because I know sometimes if you haven't defined a default colour, sometimes it will keep randomly changing every time you join a, a chat. It gives you a sign to a different colour, so... That's okay. So th this must be the secret door at the end. Now I'm looking for a portal surface just to see if we can get into that um, room that appeared. Oh, that uh, yeah, that room that kind of appeared down below. I'm guessing within time that's going to activate a vac tube back to there. So we can't get into there just yet. roll with it and uh, see where we go saved by the surface so it looks like we've got to bring some cores back here the cores are the way that we're going to activate these vac tubes it seems in this mod but, um, yeah, so far, things are looking pretty nice, I have to say. As Gladys would say, this next chest chamber is looking looking pretty good. That's right. The facility is fully operational again. I don't want to keep that. So it seems. You could have centred the laser though, I suppose. Aye. We've definitely seen a lot worse in recent times. So where was the... Oh, that's there. I was going to say, where's that light bridge that I could see? I'm guessing there's going to be a full surface on there. There is indeed. It's going to allow us to come over here. And I'm assuming we're probably going to want to do something along the lines of this. Swap it over. There. And hey, presto. We have a cube. Okay. Next up, we'll take this back from here. So we're going to have to point a cube through there, it seems, at some point. That sneaky pal there. I was going to say, I, I'd be very surprised if there wasn't something behind that area there. Um, I was right to kind of speculate. I was wrong, however, to kind of do what I did. So, what we can do instead is... Helps me at the moment.
We don't have any way to activate a portal surface so to get into there at the moment. Wow, I didn't see that before though. We could walk across there. Okay, so let's get the light bridge back. So we're also going to want the cube here, aren't we? Uh, yeah, okay, I'm making a bit of a pig zero of this at the moment. There's a few things like the like the laser emitter as well. I don't understand why it can't be centered on the portal, but hey ho, can't have it all. So I just like some geometry that I'm bumping my head on. Just seems a bit random. But. Okay, so we can do that. It's going to drop onto there. Oh, that was close. Alright, let's go in here though. And there is another switch. So it was sort of prime kind of secret squirrel area for that, wasn't it? So then this time we want to go and we're going to want to redo what we just did. Um, but without the cube this time. This looks a little bit weird and I'm not sure why. Can't quite put my finger on why it doesn't quite look right. One of those moments you see it coming. Check the switch is still pulled. Yes. See it coming. Couldn't do anything about it. Yeah, there isn't a lot of uh Certainly isn't a lot of room to manoeuvre here, Mike. two cubes out here now there was a red marking over there wasn't there there's one here as well I don't know if that's just telling us to redirect that cube through there we will have to wait and see but for now let's go and take this over here so that is quite clearly telling us to do that now that we have that, we can get a light bridge back. Travel back across here. We can access this area. And that's where our first core is by the looks of it. So 
So there is some other stuff going on in and around that area. Now I'm thinking what we're going to want to do here is bring the cube over. There must be another redirection cube here though because then we can aim that that direction and hitting both of these. I don't think we're going to get to see this from another angle at the moment. So yeah, there's the other redirection cube. And one would assume, never good to assume, but one would assume our, our job is to get that first. So that's why I create save spots. Squeeze lime and Pepsi Max. Mika knows how to live, doesn't he? So we've done that. Now is there actually a way over to there? We would also need to activate this, but where is this coming from? Is this part of this? Ah, hold on. Okay, so maybe this is part of this. Which would make sense about the other marking that we saw over here. Yes, okay. So, we do that and that. That allows us to get this cube to save. So doesn't that look kind of look like the sort of secret squirrel place you would hide a hide a, a lever? Alright, well, we'll get this one, but we don't then need to... Oh, we do need to hit them all. So we're going to fire that one across to there like that. And then... We'll go back over here. Actually, we need to get the light bridge first, so... It's probably a good idea to move it onto the... Kind of... The animation, I don't know if that really fits this bit because it kind of looks like, it almost looks like it's falling from the ceiling, if that makes sense. I don't know that it does, but perhaps. But that's done that and that's done that, but we're still missing. Oh. Clever. Very clever. Not quite sure why that exploded. Okay. So are we done here? Cool little touch. Gets uh, sucked through like that. I mean, I think this is going to load a different map, so I'm not really sure sending cubes through is going to really do anything here, but why not? 
Also, I kind of far. I kind of feel like there should be more switches around here. But maybe not. Not really sure where they would hide one. So Alright, well, I guess we've not missed anything, that's the main thing. That's the main thing I was worried about. So I, I think this is a waste of time, because I'm pretty sure it loads a different map, but hey ho, we'll try. We will try. Quite interesting as well that it kind of like brings part of the geometry through there every time as well. I quite like the concept though of, of doing that. I think that's really cool. Show us eight. It does. All right then. Let's go and have a look. See what the next one entails. If you need reliable mechanics in a portal map, you don't use a Franklin cube. But, how long do we go? Half-life trap. Myself in for here. I mean, my gut feeling is. We 
will this go under the grating somehow? Ah, yes. Even I can go in the grating. This is even better. Interesting that that grating blocks that like that, but clearly we're meant to do something with the light bridge here. Well, I would assume it's going across here, back to where we started from. sure why we'd want to do that, but it allows us to go to here, which is probably where we need to go more than anywhere. So, on to the next phase here. Interesting cube there. Surfaces anywhere else? That's obviously a deterrent to stop us from going up that elevator, the, the turrets at the other side there. Ah, okay, interesting. Again, we got some weird. Some weird locations. So, why would that one be there as well? I think that's a brilliant idea, I guess. I think more boats, more boats should have the airboat. No, more maps should have the airboat. Clearly, we're not meant to go up there because there's some no draw textures up there, so it's not where we're meant to go. But we can go up here, take our cubes, laser cube. And okay, I think I see what I need to do here. I'll do that. So that could be a bit finicky though to get right, but yeah, I think effectively what we're going to do is this. 
Mikey, what is going on, buddy? Hope you're well. Yeah, you see, it's. Doesn't seem like a particularly a reliable game mechanic, although we, we did manage to get the turret, so. I'll take that one. And we've got one over here. That's just kind of like massively off. Hey, Deathwish, what is going on? Hope you're well, buddy. This one's okay. It's not too bad. Um, we're on the second mod of the night. This is just a bit meh right here. Honest. Yeah, second one of the night. The first one we played was a inspired by Super Hot the game. I guess I didn't get that. So that's not going high enough for that. So is there something else we can do here? No, I think we've got to take it out because the minute we go anywhere remotely close, it's just going to turn on us. I mean, we could try and bait it out. There we go. We got it. We got it. Alright, F6. And away we go. So. Alright, my guess, no worries. Thanks for stopping by, buddy. Appreciate it. I will catch you next time. We've got a load of buttons here. I'm not too... Oh my. Oh me, oh my, oh my. Okay. I think I see what I need what needs to happen here. So let's look for some switches first before we do anything. Alright, there's more stuff here. Hmm. Alright, so I think I see what I need to do on the other side. So I'm not sure. All right, well. Like I said, I think I know what I've got to do here. I've got to bring... I've got to use these buttons to bring that stuff over. Alright, so I gotta fire something here. Didn't realise this was some sort of weapon. So I need a cube. So yeah, we bring the cube over. Huh. I got a feeling that's the sort of place that would put a switch as well. 
Hey Space Kim, what's going on? This is called Trapped. Uh, Portal 2 mod. Thanks for hanging, Mika. Appreciate it as always. Catch you next time. So yeah, the, pro the problem is here at the minute is that there's nowhere to... There is. There's, there totally is. What am I talking about? Let's reload. Reload the cube. Into the cannon. And then I guess it's trial and error to... I guess that was too high, slightly. Right, well, that worked. Entirely sure why I wanted to do that, but I did it. Seems a bit bizarre that I'd want to do it, although there is a button there to. Uh, I can't get in there anyway. Uh, so, yeah, alright, my theory about doing that was wrong. No way to get out of there. It might be a way to get onto there. No. Alright, so the only reason I'm like looking around for stuff for those of you that have just recently joined is that there are uh, in the map or the mod there are a total of ten switches to find that opens up a secret area at the end. So yeah, that's what I'm basically looking for. Is that on a timer? Hmm. So yeah, there's a total of 10 switches scattered throughout the mod. Uh, and if you hit them all, you get a super secret um, ending. All right, so I, I see what's happening here. So I'll reload the cube into the cannon. Maybe. Um, for some reason, that didn't hit that time. isn't it? Maybe if I raise the height and then lower it again. Then put the cube in. None. Maybe it will go higher. Well, that worked. That's all that matters.
Well, you know you've got a quality puzzle when they give you three laser cubes off the bat, let's face it. Indeed. Maybe we don't need to panic just yet. It's just a secret switch. Okay, let's panic. Let's panic. My goodness. Well, that's one way to get wrecked. Thank goodness for save points. Who's there? Searching. So I don't think that I don't know that the laser really serves as a purpose. I guess it must though, surely. But what we could maybe do Alright, I don't know if that's that's intended, but I'll take it. Also, seesaw? Interesting. Alright, I don't think we can fluke that anymore. But then I don't know how we get back, to be fair, so... I grab a safe spot. I have a feeling that I'm, like, massively breaking this, but... I don't know for sure. It's just a hunch. Activated. Hello. Hello. Oh, so this takes me all the way back to the beginning, like this section. Um, okay.
Let's maybe... Also, that gel stopped, so... That could be a bad thing. All of this is turned off. So I can only assume we've broken the puzzle. Okay. Onwards and upwards. As far as we can, that is. Put port there, and then we can bring the cubes through here and balance it out over here, though, I suppose, right? Hello. That makes sense. As for I had the freaking button again, didn't I? It's all good. We're all good. Don't panic, Mr. Mannering. I can only assume that I want this. I think it's a. Um, I think it's an edge of the safety cube over on this side. Apparently, I'm still too light. Sorry, I'm still too fat. There we go. So, what am I going to do with this, though? I mean, there's the core. I think I've kind of like perplexed myself here as to what it is I'm meant to be doing because I seem to have broken the puzzle. I don't know what the Sedge Safety Cube's for. a little bit. Oh hey, that looks nice, isn't it? Gives me a rocket turret. You know, these little ones permanently active. point of that, if I'm after the core and the core's right there, I mean, what's the point of all this other stuff? Hmm. 
I mean, this is just pretty annoying, I'll be honest. Not knowing, like, what you can and can't step on is quite frustrating. I mean, I assume you just got to walk on the solid bits, but... Even still... Um, but yeah, also not really quite sure what it is I'm meant to be going for. I'm, I'll be honest, I'm just really confused as to what it is I'm meant to be doing at the moment. There's so many ant lines, as Mike said before. And I can only assume that I'm meant to be getting enough cubes to block all of these things. Let's do this as fair. I don't know, I'm just confused, really. It'll be the first to admit, it doesn't take a lot, but yeah, I'm confused. Surprise, my space bar failed me. And that's the other kind of frustrating thing about this at the minute is there's so many places you can just literally kill yourself. Uh, but sorry, Mike, in, in answer to your question, uh, there are still a lot of switches left. I mean, I, I'm doing all this, I don't really know why I'm doing this. Because, like I say, access to the actual core is down there. I don't know what this does here. I don't know what all these, these ant lines are referring to, because that's turned off. So, I mean, this just looks stupid. the most funnest thing in the world. Wow, that English of mine right there.
Not sure I follow the idea of this one. We're dead. Ooh. Why can't you pull there? I <laughs> don't, know, I don't understand. There's grating there, so I can't... I don't know why I can't shoot anything here. So let's imagine just for a moment that I didn't do that. And I just went back to where the core is. So yeah, that's just for. So that's just Easter egg related stuff. So there's a lot of stuff in that map that I don't understand what it was for. However, let's also imagine. I want to choose this one for effect. It's also imagined that I hadn't have um, put all those cubes in there either. Okay. Okay. Makes more sense. I'm just gonna leave that cube there because that would have been so yeah I would what I needed to have done then here was to put that in place before I did all of this but to save doing all that again for a third of time for this third cube we drop that in there but I just I, I don't know I, I think the idea was I was meant to do that to open that laser field but the laser field was already open so I don't know if things that I did earlier on in the map just completely and utterly broke it. It's hard to say really. I don't know what the... I mean, I guess that was just to bowl the turrets out the way, perhaps. Um, who knows? Who knows? The answer is not me. So, that's it. There's still like seven switches we didn't find. There's a lot of switches, and I had a good look around, and there was no... There was no 
real hidden areas anywhere. That's the one I'm going to use though. I'm glad I looked at that. That's what we can use to go and do this other area which was over here. Yeah, let's do that just to speed up going around. six more switches but also um, is that a trapping situation? Nope, we're good, we're good. came in. Oh wow, so this is actually invisible. And then they give you a player clip to stop you from going back. I guess maybe that fell down on this, potentially, but I may have missed it. I don't know where anything else is. Um, there's probably more to come through this section, maybe. Alright, so I'm uh, a little confused. So where, where are the other switches? Where are the other switches? So there's one here. Oh, okay. So I guess there's a lot of them hidden in this shaft. Huh, that's quite clever actually. So yeah, there's one. There's not going to be else down there, is there? Nope, so you got the one there. I did think about these areas here, but there's no portable surfaces up to there. There's nothing through the vents. So we go through into here. Obviously there's that one there. I 
one down here. How do you get down to here then? Oh, I guess, okay, so once that all gets taken away, you can then pull down to here. Okay. then in some sneaky locations. But then after that, I don't know. Exactly, Mike. There's four more somewhere. Now, I mean, let's go into the maps. I mean, maybe they're... Because I, I know where two of them are in the maps. But potentially there is more. I'm just double-checking this area again. control of the player around this area, so it's not going to be... There isn't going to be anything up here. I mean, it wouldn't make sense anyway, because we don't even have a portal gun to get around anywhere up there either, so... Definitely wouldn't make sense to have anything up there. Press the button. And have another exploration through here. I think I may have broken things by no clipping around. Nope, there we go. Yeah, we had a good look around here before. Or at least I thought I'd had a good look around. Ah, oh, there's one up in here, look. So there's a sneaky little one up here. Okay. And there's another sneaky one in here. I was right, there was one through here. Yep, little. That is very sneaky. I mean, look at that. It's quite cool that you can remove the tile there, though, to actually see it. That's uh, a cool little touch. But yeah, it is pretty difficult to find, let's be honest. Uh, I want to get this out of here without having to redo the whole freaking map, which is... Um, what's the, does anyone off the top of the head, does anyone remember the command to uh, be able to portal anywhere?
There's a command, isn't there? I've, yeah. Oh, I'll server command to place portal. Anywhere. That's it. SV portal placement never fail one. I just want to do that just so I don't have to solve the puzzle, just so we can skip through real quickly and find the rest of these switches. So let's just check, just to be double sure. I can't believe I just did that. Can't believe I just did that. But yeah, looking at this, I don't think there are any more. But it would make sense that there's three left on the final map. If there was three on this map, um, I guess it would kind of like make sense from like a spacing issue. The same amount of kind of on both of them, so. So let's go and do this in here. I'm just going to see if I can find the other two on this map. There's definitely nothing left on here, that's for sure. So, but yeah, then obviously we was meant to see this portal surface down here, which is unlocked from there, which we missed last time around. So I was convinced there was one in this area somewhere. Why is God Mode not on? Ha! Huh. Okay, wrecked me. There's a switch up here, which is the one we found. There's a switch here. Okay. It's hidden pretty well. So where is the final one? That's the big question. Oh. So 
So how do you... How do you get that one then? I thought maybe that's what this was all about, but... Alright, so this area clearly broke from when we originally played through it though, because that was turned off without having to do this before. I mean... Is there a way to shoot a laser through there somehow? I can't remember how that laser turned on now. Well, yeah, all right, so you need to get a laser and point the laser onto it. All right, well. They were some pretty well-hidden buttons. I mean when I look when I look at the kind of way they were hidden that's kind of to me for anybody who's played and anybody who's a fan that's like Call of Duty zombies kind of style hiding easter eggs level of hiding things <laughs> So, I found all the stuff, I mean, what do we do now? That's pretty cool. Atlas and Peabody playing catch with Wheatley. That's filling in. Not sure what we're uh, looking for here. Yeah, I mean, what I quite like, and it, it's something that I thought about, or, or I wanted to do, like way back when, when I was starting out and wanted to do some hammer maps and stuff. But the map uses. Um, in here. Okay. The map uses. Um, line textures there um, it uses a script to walk through there now can't I unless that's just not anything I meant to get through here it uses a oh, that's pretty sweet sends me back as well uh, it uses like file writing to store values between the maps so that's how it knows because each of the maps are actually different 
each of the maps, or oh, sorry, the, there's three maps in total, like this area and then the other two are three separate maps and it, it's doing file writing in between to keep track of how many buttons and things we've we've logged. And one of my original ideas when I was like way back when, when I was thinking about doing hammer stuff and trying to work things out was um, being able to sort of like split things up into multiple maps um, and do like a, a an Easter egg kind of thing, but based over several maps. So if you'd have found like the, the, the core bits in like all of the maps on the final map, there'd like be a super secret thing and a, a super door and thing. But you know, that was just one of my, one of my projects that uh, never got anywhere because I always dream too big and I have a very little time to do what I want to do. Um, but yeah, there was clearly a lot of effort gone into that. That second map though, especially was very, very broken. I don't, I didn't solve that intended at all. Um, but as I was going through and I went back, things had already turned off as if I'd progressed far enough. So, um, yeah, other than that, though, the, I think the work was pretty nice. Um, the Easter egg, like like we've said, uh, a lot of detail was put into that. So all in all, yeah, that was a pretty good mod. I really enjoyed that one. So, um, yes, that was Trapped. Guys, that is also going to bring us to the end of both the video and the stream. Thank you very much, everybody, for tuning in. I appreciate your support. Until next time on YouTube, thank you very much. Take care, happy gaming, all the usual stuff. Goodbye.